The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Hosea. Israel was a luxuriant vine yielding plenty of fruit. The more his fruit increased, the more altars he built. The richer his land became, the richer he made the sacred pillars. Theirs is a divided heart. Now they will have to pay for it. He himself will hack down their altars and wreck their sacred pillars. Then they will say, we have no king because we have not feared Yahweh. But what could the king do for us? Samaria has had her day. Her king is like a straw drifting on the water. The high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, will be destroyed. Thorns and thistles will grow over their altars. Then they will say to the mountains, cover us, and to the hills, fall on us. So saving justice for yourselves, reap a harvest of faithful love. Break up your fallow ground. It is time to seek out Yahweh until he comes to rain saving justice down on you. And our response is taken from Psalm 105. Sing to him, make music for him, recount all his wonders, glory in his holy name. Let the hearts that seek Yahweh rejoice. Seek Yahweh in his strength. Tirelessly seek his presence. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders, the judgments that he has spoken. Stock of Abraham, his servant, children of Jacob, whom he chose. He is Yahweh our God. His judgments touch the whole world. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Matthew, Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits with power to drive them out and to cure all kinds of disease and all kinds of illness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, who is known as Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother, John. Philip and Bartholomew. Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus. Simon, the zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who was also his betrayer. These 12 Jesus sent out, instructing them as follows. Do not make your way to Gentile territory and do not enter any Samaritan town. Go instead to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. The Gospel of the Lord.